hello and welcome back to my channel i am doing this very kind of simple everyday makeup look i am 31 i'm 32 in march so i'm 31 and a half aren't i in fact it was my half birthday a week ago i'm exactly 31 and a half and i feel like i do my makeup slightly differently to the way that i used to do it um this video is also sponsored by one of my favourite jewellery brands and I will talk a little bit more about their pieces and their sustainability angle as well. Um, I'm wearing all Monica Vinader now, obviously. Hoops, necklace, a couple of bracelets um, and a couple of new rings as well. Everything will be linked down below and I have a really good Monica Vinader discount. I will leave it on the screen here and in the description box. I also think the links in the description box will give you an automatic discount. So go to those but all the information will be down in the description box. Enjoy the video and I hope you like it. Starting with Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is unbelievable. I actually have an event with a brand this evening that I'm on a panel for. So midday now and I need to use products that means my makeup is gonna last for the next 10 hours at least and this primer is so grippy it is insane insane I'll show you in a second actually I saw this thing on TikTok where people can stick items to their face because of how sticky this is it's unbelievable rub it in wait 30 seconds for it to dry literally this lip balm I'm wearing this because my lips are really chapped at the moment but look, like it's a really, really great primer. I will link all the makeup products below as well as the Monica Vinader jewelry that I'm wearing. I'm seriously having a need to move out of London moment right now. We've got the trains, we've got renovations below. There's a truck over there reversing and it's doing its like beepy thing. And I, I just wanna be in the country in the quiet with no distractions this is the got to be um glue by the way but i bought it and realized that the product was actually really bad so i filled it up with this which is actually really good so a bit strange and this is the first time i'm using it from the tube i hope it works but yes i am gonna be jumping around a little bit today i'm feeling very out of sorts i think it will be easier for me to do the video if i say that um was felt very emotional yesterday. The the Instagram community lost a very special person and I really can't cry again because I woke up this morning and my eyes were like so puffy and I'm a Pisces, so I'm gonna cry all the time anyway, but it's just easier if I'm like honest. So if I feel slightly flat, that is why. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm trying to distract myself. Um, so, seems to be working with the brows actually gonna be a bit all over the place as well so i also came back from portugal about 48 hours ago and it was incredible like we went to the six senses hotel and it was actually amazing i'm just gonna let this dry down uh it was ridiculous my first time ever going to a six senses hotel and it was just like phenomenal like really really exceptional experience the spa was ridiculous i got into cold plunging let me know if you like it as well because i i think when we move um would like to like move out of london at some point i would love to have a cold plunge like pool thing i loved it i got up to 45 seconds in three degrees and that was after i did 15 minutes in a 90 degree sauna the finished sauna was so hot it was ridiculous um so yeah, I had this incredible week and then I feel like a lot of sad news for a lot of us yesterday. So my body's just like, what on earth are we doing? And now I'm doing a makeup tutorial. I feel like I haven't filmed YouTube or makeup definitely in a long time. I'm gonna use this NYX, um, it's like a, I call it my builder brow, um, but everything will be linked below. Ooh, is that the right shade? No, that's my really dark one, one sec got two and I like to use um, espresso just to build my brows you also get a nice little close-up of one of my Monica Vinader rings here obviously I have my diamond ring on the other hand um, 
and this hand felt a bit naked and this is brand new from Monica Vinida so I thought I would even things up and get something for my other hand. It feels like a disservice talking about Monica Vinida and showing you the pieces when I don't have makeup on because I just want it to be done. But yeah, you get some nice up close shots of the jewelry this way. I actually have a discount code as well, which I will flash up on screen a couple of times and leave in the description box. They've told me it's 20%, which is so good. I've been wearing Monica Vinida now for like three years, perhaps. Only gold as well. Like I don't own, I own a couple of pieces of silver jewelry, but hardly any. Um, and I just love their gold. And they are more of like a sustainable brand. All of the pieces I'm wearing are obviously Monica Vinida. They are made from 100% recycled sterling silver or 18 karat gold vermeil, which I pretty much only wear, like I told you. And also all of their gemstones and diamonds and pearls are ethically sourced. I'm wearing a little gemstone here, which I'll show you once I've got a bit more makeup. Show you, show you it up close in a sec. I'm liking how the brows are. They are feeling a bit more balanced. I feel like I really like a, like my brows to be fluffy, but give my face, my very round face still, a little bit more structure. I'm gonna use the IT Cosmetics your skin but better this is in the color light medium or is it just light no sorry this one is just light but it's still quite dark i think this is the best foundation ever in the entire world i have tried other ones after i found this one and i was like nope this is still the best when i was younger i used to put like three pumps on and now i don't even do a full pump sometimes just because I find it's just a little bit too much and like settles in my lines. Then I love this. Um, you know I've spoken about it before because Molly May loves it as well. The Vita Liberata in medium. And I am very, or slightly tanned from Portugal, but then also I'm a little bit, well, I'm a lot fake tanned actually. Um, so I'm just gonna add some of this just to darken up. It cosmetics. I actually quite like you zoomed in here. So I think I'm gonna keep you like this. Also, this is the It Cosmetics brush, and it's so good. Apart from the fact that I'm in the molting, I should get a new one. I'm in the molting stage now, and the concealer end has actually broken off. I feel better for having a bit more foundation on now. Also, all of the packaging from Monica Vinida is recycled and recyclable, and I love their signature gold. It's like a warm gold with this kind of a deep aubergine color. So many of my girlfriends asked for Monica Vinida pieces for their birthday. We are big fans of the brand, and I just love their sustainable angle on these beautiful pieces that just feel so special. I'm a real gold jewelry wearer. I believe that like a pair of gold hoops changes everything. So when I got these, um, I'm using a little corrector from Shark Tommy by the way, but when I got these in the post about a week ago, I threw them in my bag to take away with me on holiday because gold hoops, especially the right size, they just make such a difference to me. If I'm feeling a bit like tired and I wanna do something effective and quickly, then putting on gold hoops makes such a difference. If they're too big for me, I feel like that's kind of more of like a going out statement. And if they're too small, they're not, they don't make as much of a statement. So um, I saw these ones, these will all be linked down below, by the way, and obviously you can use the discount code. I just thought they were the perfect, perfect, cool girl size. Like, there's this girl that I follow who lives in New York, and she is, like, such a gold hoop, this kind of size. And I, I always look at her, and I just think, oh, I need some that size. Like, I have a lot, a lot of gold hoops. But I just wanted some cool girl ones, and I think these are the ultimate cool girl ones. They have a little bit of texture to them. In fact, I'll zoom you in in a second. They're also those kind of hoops that you can't even feel that you're wearing them. And something that strikes me about Monica Vinager jewellery is that it's always very comfortable and wearable and fits in with my everyday wardrobe because I'm not the fanciest dresser and so sometimes some jewellery can look a little bit too much on me but this just fits in with my capsule wardrobe and kind of plain styling really well. Rodial banana lowlighter, that's the one. 
lip from within complexion enhancer just a little bit to bring some light to certain points of my face my skin texture is also not the best at the moment every time i come back from holiday it, it doesn't like sun cream with sweat with sun with probably like a change in the water i'm washing it with i've tried to stick to my usual skin routine which i feel like i've nailed when i'm out there but it just not happy at the moment um but you know i think with age you just kind of go with it i definitely care less about my skin texture the older i get less about my looks in general if i'm being really honest just because it's not my uh my currency in the world anymore you see how that has just given a little bit more dimension to my face and now i'm just going to powder those areas i said i would zoom you in on my earrings actually so let me just show you them quickly see there's that it's like a chainmail texture but they are yes the perfect size also as part of their sustainability efforts this is the charlotte tilbury flawless powder i think in number one Number one, Monica Vinader have a repair and rewear program, which means if you buy a piece from them and after a while, um, you know, it tarnishes or it breaks in some kind of way, they will repair it for you so that you don't need to buy another piece and you're buying less, um, which is really great as well. And I have used that program and it just means that your pieces um, can prolong the life of your pieces and that you just don't need to buy as much, which I think is great. I feel like I still need a little bit of bronzing up. The tan has stuck a little bit to my hands. Not too bad though, um, but I feel like I'm looking slightly pale in comparison to my neck. I'm gonna go for this NARS Laguna 01. I think actually before I go out to the event tonight, I might add a little bit more. I've got to decide what to wear as well. They've sent me a couple of outfits, which I'm yet to try on, so they better fit. I don't really, yeah, I don't really do that much talking or like panel stuff. I really enjoy it when I do. I will be nervous tonight though, but it is an evening event, so they usually have wine there, so I might have some wine. It just makes me feel so bad though in the next morning, but yeah, I might need a little bit of Dutch courage before I go on the panel. It's also like I promoted the event to my audience as well, so I might be able to meet some of you guys tonight, which is, which will be the best part. Okay, how are we looking bronze-wise? Do you think I'm crazy? I just, I feel like <laughs> my face is a lot lighter. Really liking it with the gold jewelry as well. It's nice with the brown top too. It's all very, um, very tonal. I think I'm going to zoom you in and show you my necklace because what they've done is clever. So this is the classic snake chain necklace, 50 centimeters long. It's the longer one. And what I've done here is added a charm. So this is really clever because first of all, the clasp here looks like part of the design. So you know when your necklaces go around the wrong way and like your friends will put them right? This is a feature, but it's also a clasp. So you could have the necklace just like this. I would wear it like that. You could also have this at the back so that you just have a snake chain like this. Or you could take off this charm, switch it out with another charm, and then you just have loads of different necklaces. But obviously, because it's just the charm changing, you keep the chain <laughs> the same every time. That was really hard to say. But you get what I'm saying? like. You can get so many necklaces in one if you just buy the snake chain necklace. I just thought that was really clever. I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring now with this milk stick, which is just about dark enough when I'm tanned. Cheekbones under the lip, my favorite one, nose, and then a bit on the jaw. I love these little milk sticks. I think they're phenomenal. Shade toasted. And what do we have on my left hand? This pearl bracelet. I will do a cutaway here so you can see it up close. But I didn't actually have, I don't think I have any pearls at all. So I wanted this and I also thought it'd be cute for my holiday. Then I have the Fiji bud stacking ring, which I will show you up close as well. I kind of thought it looked like serpent heads and I just thought the design was quite interesting because the ring doesn't actually meet. And I just thought 
these all look nice together this is um an old monica vintage one that i have but see for me like it's minimal but elevates your outfit and your look which is exactly what i want my jewelry to do i've got a milk blush this one's new i just wasn't sure what to get so i got quickie do you like a blush i thought this berry one might be nice for autumn i'm trying to stay away from pinks because i had too many pink like barbie pink blushes but this still looks quite pink on me i don't know I do like these milk sticks, like they're great for traveling. They're obviously ridiculously expensive. Got mine from Space NK. I really like the packaging on these and I do like the product as well. Then my eyeshadow as ever, very, very minimal. Found this Zoeva palette in my makeup. I'm gonna use this one down here. It's kind of like a cool toned, bronzy, neutral. And that's really all I do. This is a L'Oreal pencil, a brown one. And actually, you can see the um, this new swirl ring here that I'm wearing. I thought, you know, I was talking about wanting to balance out my right hand because I have my ring on my left hand that I just thought for going out to dinners. And this is quite a statement for me. Best sound ever. Love that sound. I don't wear mascara on the bottom of my eyes you may have noticed just because i am so dark in my under eye here and i always have been and i think it's probably hereditary but i just like to keep that area as bright as possible so i avoid using mascara there then i'm going to use a beauty pie highlighter for that youthful glow do, do, do. glow for me makes the biggest difference about how my skin looks like I don't mind texture and spots and pigmentation, but I need to have a glow and a moisture there because I think for me, it's synonymous with healthy, nourished, moisturized skin. I like it on my cheekbones, obviously, and down the middle of my nose, although I think I've maybe put a little bit much on. And I just think when you move your face and it catches the light, like that for me is really beautiful skin. And my favourite lip combo ever, iconic nude lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. To be fair, it's not even a combo. I switch up my gloss quite a lot, but this is the Beauty Pie Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. This is the best lip liner I have ever used in my life. It's the perfect cool shade with some rose thrown in there so that it really does mimic my natural lip, but if there was a shadow there and that's why i do the bronzing underneath because the bigger the shadow the bigger your lip is so by creating a big shadow you're creating the illusion that your lips are bigger that for me is a really lovely lip with some gloss i don't really wear lipstick that much either i do feel like it's a little bit aging on me and high maintenance and I just have never found a lipstick that I'm really in love with. I am definitely a gloss slash balm gal when I'm out. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. Do you reckon that's enough? This is interesting for me, but like once I move back away from the light, my skin obviously gets a lot darker, but then if I get really, really close, I just feel like I look a lot paler. It's really interesting though, isn't it? Like you can see such detail with this camera, it's really good. There, and that is my final makeup look, everyday makeup look, how I do my makeup in my 30s. Not actually a lot different from my 20s, to be honest, just more of a focus on like feeling good in my body exactly the way it is and probably wearing a lot less makeup than when I was in the clubs in my teens and 20s. Um, a little last shot of the jewellery. I'll flash up my discount code again for you here. Uh, it's a good code, so use it. And I will link everything below, including the jewellery and the makeup and the shades. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.